Welcome to video number six of this big data and Hadoop do it yourself tutorials. In continuation from the last video, where we created a table load CSV and loaded the data from a CSV file into this table, and we can see the data. Next, I'm going to go a bit deeper into how the Hadoop file system manages the file. Remember in the last video, we uploaded the file in the file browser. Let's go take a look what's going on with that file. So here in the file browser, I go to user and BDCS, boom, there is no file. The file has been consumed and once the file has been consumed, the file is deleted from the location. Now, because if you remember, it says managed table, it ate up the file in the system. How to control that? How do you want to make sure or how you can make sure that the file still exists, but still you can have a table around it. We are going to work on that. And just in a nutshell, that's an external table. We're going to talk about managed table and external tables in the videos to come. But let's look at how exactly the file system has been devised and managed in the Cloudera platform. Let's do that. All right. So Remember, we created the database BDCS. Let's take a look at it. So I'm, I'm still in the hive prompt and I'm going to use the exclamation mark. As I mentioned in the previous video, that an exclamation mark will run, will allow me to run an OS Linux level command within the hive prompt. So in hive, I'm going to say exclamation loop file system OS and I'm going to go to the directory user hive and warehouse. Warehouse is default directory where the HDFS man maintains all its tables and databases and everything. Let's take a look at it. So it comes back and you can see there are a lot of names of the, these are all tables which we have in this system but also there is a, a name of the file it's not a file basically it's a directory it's a database with an extension dot db with an extension dot db it would suggest to you that it's a database let's create a database and see what's happening with it so if you remember, we used create database and I'll say sample test. I'll say show database. Okay. And you can see sample test. Let's see how this is appearing on the warehouse part. You can observe that here there was no sample test. Obviously, we created it here. But you can observe that there is a sample test test dot db, which tells me it's a database. It's not a table, it's a database. These eyes, these are all tables, but not this one. Let's go one step deeper and look at what is bdcs.db, what's under this. So I'm gonna type not Hadoop, the exclamation Hadoop FS minus LS and DB. Please observe that it gives you two table names. 
if you remember we said we said to show me tables and it gave me the names of bdcs tab and load csv and now this is bdcs and load csv under db this is the reason when we said describe formatted load csv it gave me the app where it said it's a managed table underneath bdcs.db and this is the same path which you would see over here so what does it mean it means that every table is stored under the this directory every table or database is stored under this directory slash user slash hive slash warehouse please note that this path is different for hortonworks so those guys who are doing hortonworks right now are using hortonworks to follow my video videos uh, they would use a different path i think for hortonworks it's apps slash apps slash hive slash warehouse but we are on cloud era it says user hive and warehouse all right now let's go back and understand why did it delete the file it deleted the file because the hdfs says hey you know what you loaded the data from that file i don't want to retain it i'm going to delete it and all the data is now copied under or to this table load csv now let's let's go back and see where the tables are coming in if you go back to hive you can see the table and also if you go under this data browser section you would see meta stored tables that means what are the tables in the meta store and under the bdcs database you have bdcs tab and load csv table and if you click on load csv you can see the column names and their data types next to each other in the next video i'm going to show you how to load external data Ex sorry how to create an external table and how you can load data into external table having said that you have a wonderful learning